This was a terribly violent era in the early Republic. This is the era where men fought and murdered each other over ideologies. They shot each other, they beat each other with canes, and not on the streets or in the boarding houses, but on the floors of Congress. Duels happened every day. There's a dueling ground right here, in Bladensburg, where members of Congress would call each other out. These were men who were at each other's throats, literally. Everything in Washington seemed to exacerbate political divisions. Jefferson had had dinners in which he deliberately kept the two parties apart, inviting Republicans one night and Federalists the next. Even the living arrangements intensified the partisanship with Federalists staying in one boarding house and Republicans in another. For politics to happen, you need a social sphere. That's the place where people can work out things, they can compromise, they can talk, they can make deals. In Washington City, there was no place for the unofficial sphere. There are no public spaces for interactions. There aren't hotel lobbies. There aren't bars. I mean, there are not places where people could come together socially as opposed to in an argument over politics. Dolly realized that the executive mansion could be used for this political purpose. During previous administrations, the building was simply the president's private residence she would transform it into a place where politicians could come together informally, a politically neutral space with music, food, and civility. She began by decorating and furnishing its austere public rooms. 